Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to explain how to add your own custom splash screen for Repetier and Marlin firmware. Most 3D printer companies add their own splash screen to make sure you know where the printer came from and probably to sneak in a little easy advertising every time you turn your printer on. Somebody asked a question on one of my videos a little while back to see if it was possible to put a custom splash screen on Repetier firmware, and I said I might make a video explaining how to do it after I figure it out. Well, I figured it out. I tried to find that comment so I could give them a shout out, but I wasn't able to find it, so maybe that person deleted the comment? Either way, you know who you are. Thank you for asking, and this is how you do it. Before we get started, you will need to know how to flash firmware to your printer, and make sure that the firmware you're using will work for the printer you're trying to install it on. After you've verified that it successfully installs to the printer and without making any changes, make a backup of the whole folder with your firmware in it. That way if something goes wrong, you can go back and start over with the firmware that you know is working to begin with. Obviously I can't explain how to install firmware for every 3D printer out there in one video, or at all considering how much that would cost, but for this video I will be installing Repetier and later Marlin on an MKS base version 1.5 mainboard with the RepRap discount full graphic controller LCD screen. Starting with Repetier firmware, the first thing you'll want to do is either create or find a black and white image that you want to use as your splash screen and save that as a bitmap file. If you're using the firmware that I linked in my Monoprice Maker Select videos, you'll notice when the original splash screen loads, it starts with some text on the left side of the screen and an image on the right side of the screen. If you want to keep the splash screen in this format, you'll need to create an image that is 60 by 64 pixels. Otherwise, if you're like me and want to use the whole screen, you'll want to go with 128 by 64 pixels. If you decide to create your own image, obviously there are pay for options like Photoshop to accomplish this, but you can also use something like GIMP which is free to use, and I will add a link to download that below. When you have the image you want to use as a splash screen ready, you'll go to this website, marlinfw.org slash tools slash u8glib slash converter.html. Here you can browse for that image, or just copy and paste it in, and the website will automatically generate the bytecode that you'll need to use in your firmware. Next, you'll want to look in your local Repetier firmware folder for a file called logo.h. You can open this file in the Arduino IDE if you want, but it may be easier to find and edit the necessary files with something like Notepad++. When you open the logo.h file, you'll see a section that starts with const, unsigned, char, logo, then an open curly brace, followed by a comma-separated list of bytes in hexadecimal format. If that doesn't mean anything to you, don't worry. All you have to do is take all of the bytes that were generated by the Marlin website and paste them to replace all of the bytes that were originally here in your firmware. Now if you're using the 60x64 image that comes with text on the left side of the screen, you're all set. You should now be able to compile and write the firmware to your printer. However, if you want to use the full screen, there's a little more work we need to do first. Near the top of the logo.h file, you'll see logo underscore width and logo underscore height. You'll need to change the value for logo underscore width to 128 to match the bytecode you pasted in below. After that, you'll need to find and open the file called ui.cpp. When you have that file open, use Control F and search to find custom underscore logo. You 
you should see a section like this with several lines that start with print row P. Each of these lines is creating the text that you see on the left side of the screen, so you'll want to disable those lines by adding two forward slashes to the left of each line. At this point, you should be good to compile and upload the firmware to your printer. If you get any errors that you weren't getting before these changes, you'll probably want to make sure that your image was the same size as the logo underscore width and logo underscore height variables in the logo.h file, and make sure you copied and pasted the full and correct bytecode into the brackets in that file. Worst case scenario, go back and start over with a fresh copy of the firmware from the backup you created at the start. For Marlin firmware, pre 2.0, the process is somewhat similar to Repetier firmware, but since most of you probably skipped ahead to this point, let's start from scratch. I'm working with Marlin 116, so I can't promise this will work with every version of Marlin, as I don't have that kind of infinite knowledge. To get started, the first thing you'll want to do is find or create a black and white image to use as your splash screen, and save it as a bitmap. If you're creating one, you can use something like Photoshop, obviously or there are free options like GIMP that will work just as well. Again, I'm installing this on a board with the RepRap Discount Full Graphic Controller, so my screen size will be 128 by 64 pixels. So if you're working with a different size screen, you may need to make some adjustments to match your specific scenario. After you have your image selected, you can go to this website, marlinfw.org slash tools slash uhglib slash converter.html and upload the bitmap image you want to use. It will automatically generate the bytecode to use in the Marlin firmware. Next, you will want to find the dogm underscore bitmaps.h file in the Marlin firmware folder and either open that in the Arduino IDE or in something like Notepad++. You'll see there are several sections with comma separated lists of hexadecimal bytecode, and those are the different images that your printer will use as the backgrounds for different screens in the firmware. For the splash screen specifically, you will want to change the start underscore BMP section. So take the bytecode that you generated on the Marlin website and replace the whole comma separated list inside the curly braces for that array in your firmware. Also, make sure the hashtag defines start underscore BMP width and start underscore BMP height sizes match the size of your actual image. Lastly, if it's commented out, you will want to uncomment the line that says hashtag define start underscore BMP high to make sure we use the new image. And by that, I mean remove the two forward slashes at the front of that line to enable it. Next, you'll want to go to the configuration.h file where you see hashtag define string underscore splash underscore line one and string underscore splash underscore line two. Immediately after string splash line one, Add a space, then two quotes, another space, then two forward slashes. 
What this does is it tells Marlin to keep the splash line one blank and disables the short build version that was there by default. You'll do the same thing for string splash line two, and that's pretty much it. You should be ready to compile and write the firmware to your printer. Anyway, that's about all for this video. I know there are many people out there, possibly some of you, who have a lot more experience with Repetier and Marlin firmware than I do, and that's fine. I am not an expert on the subject. I'm just a software developer who knows how to poke around at things until I figure them out. There are likely other and or better ways to accomplish what I've shown in this video, but this worked for me, and assuming you're using the same firmware and version of the Arduino IDE as I am, it should work for you too. If this video was at all helpful to you, feel free to click the like or subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.